Hi there, and welcome to the new AstroDB Vector Experience. Let's get started. Once you log in, you'll drop here to the homepage. You can either use Create Vector Database up top or create a database under Quick Access. Add your database name, choose a provider, a region, and create. Once your database is ready and active, you'll see this landing page where you can either start with the Data Explorer to load and view data, learn how to integrate with LaneChain, or get right into coding. Let's start with the Data Explorer. From here, you can create a sample collection with a ready-to-made data set, both metadata and vector embeddings for you to experiment with, or create an empty collection and load your own data. Once you have some data in the system, you'll see key metrics, both latency and throughput for any requests you might have coming in. You'll also get a summarization of any collections and or CQL tables you might have. If you want to view data, just click on the name. The Data Explorer view. In here, notice that next to any of my vector embeddings, there's a search button. Just click on that, it'll automatically perform a similarity search against the rest of your data set. If you want, you can use the hybrid search to further refine your data. Let's choose original score, value 25, hit apply, and you can see it refines my data set. Now maybe if you want to add a different data set, just say create collection, give it a name, you can use one of the example dimension sets, choose a similarity metric, and both vector and non-vector data sets are supported in AstroDB. You are not required to have vector data or vector indexes. All right, we've got some data. Let's go ahead and work with some code. You can choose connection details, and you'll see one of the three clients provided. In this case, I'm gonna choose Python. Let's go ahead and just follow the instructions. I'm going to install, take the code snippet here, generate a token, copy that in, and then execute. And that's it. You can see it's already getting all the collections that I have. In this case, I've taken the liberty to kind of fill out the rest of the code from the quick start to insert some data with some vector embeddings and perform a similarity search. You can see the results here. If I now come back to my data explorer, you can see I have my new collection with my data ready to go. Thank you so much for watching and happy coding.